Bonjour de Paris! Hello from Paris again. You know, I have loved bringing the podcast to you from my favorite city in the world, Paris, France. You know, I love talking to you about your gifts, your talents, because it all plays a part in the purpose that God has put on your life, the purpose for you being born. You know, I've said before that there is a connection between your potential, your passion, and your purpose. And you know, me being here in Paris, France, I never knew till I was in my 30s that this was all a part of God's purpose for my life. But you know, discovering your purpose, discovering your passion, your potential, God wants you to do that because He wants you to fulfill the reason He created you. But so many times, you know, people write to me, so many people question God and they want to know, what is my purpose? How do I discover my purpose? And I think that's the question we all have because you don't want to live and die with your potential untapped. You don't want to, you know, go through this earth never knowing why you were created. Well, God wants you to know your purpose. And some of the ways that you can identify your purpose is by asking yourself, what brings you joy? That's one of the questions you need to ask yourself. What brings you joy? What causes you to light up when you get an opportunity to do this? For example, my friend Courtney, she lights up when she has an opportunity to decorate a room, to decorate a house. And it is something that comes so natural to her and she loves it, she thrives on it. But that's a gift, a talent that God's given her to help her fulfill her purpose. You know, I, I met a lady not too long ago who said she loves to decorate Christmas trees. Well, she used to, you know, decorate the trees for all of her friends. They would call her up and say, would you decorate my tree? And she'd say, I'd love to. So she would decorate decorate the Christmas tree, then she would take it down and they would pay her for it. And she thought, gosh, I could turn this into a business. She did. Now it's a full-time business that she has decorating Christmas trees. She only works four months out of the year and she's doing something she's passionate about. Well, God wants you to do something you, that brings you joy, that you're passionate about. And the Bible tells us when you discover your gift, not only will it bring you before great men and women, but it will also prosper you. The lady who decorates trees, she's being prospered by using her gift, and it's a gift that brings her joy. So think about that. When you're trying to discover, God, why am I here? What is my passion? What brings you joy? That's one of the ways you can discover it. Another way, I want you to ask yourself this, is what angers you, what frustrates you, what makes you mad. You know that out of your frustrations you can locate your passions. You know it's not a coincidence that certain things make you mad because listen to this, vision is always the solution to a problem and those things that frustrate you the most could be a, a strong indication that God's called you to bring a solution to that problem. For example, my friend Deborah George, she gets frustrated, she gets angry when she sees prostitutes on the streets and drug addicts on the streets who feel hopeless and feel helpless. It angers her so much that now she's turned that frustration into a ministry, a vision. She now goes and she helps. <laughs> she helps them, she gets, leads them to the Lord, she gives them materials, she gets them in churches, gets them plugged in where their lives can be restored. So she has turned that frustration into to vision and in the, in, along the way she discovered her purpose. You know, I was reading a story about <clears throat> a guy named Gary Heaven. You may have heard of him. He actually started the business franchise called Curves, you know, the workout facility for women. But listen to this. This successful business was birthed out of anger. Curves founder Gary Heaven watched his mother die of obesity at a very young age and it broke his heart and it devastated his life so much he said that loss he experienced in his life compelled him to turn his pain into a solution towards the illness of obesity and that's what caused him to launch Curves. Well Curves is now listed in the Guinness World Records as the world's largest fitness center franchise, the number one fastest growing franchise. It's located in all 50 states and countries all over the world serving over four million women but I want you to realize he turned his frustration and his pain into vision into his purpose well what angers you what is it about you that you know makes you so mad is it teenage pregnancy and you want to help teenagers you want to get their minds renewed you want them to build their confidence and their courage where they're not you know giving in to temptation is it you know 
when you, every time you go to church, you proofread the church bulletin and you see all these errors and misspelled words, well, turn it into vision. Maybe God's called you to be the proofreader, to be the writer, an editor. You know, if it's unkept flower beds, hey, come to my house and get my flowers in order. But, you know, if those things frustrate you and you're like, oh, I wish they'd do something about it, maybe God's called you to do something about it. So think about what angers you. And let me close out with this. One of the questions you need to ask yourself is what is God speaking to your heart? You know, if you bought an expensive painting at a museum and you wanted to know more about the painting, who would you ask? Would you ask the guy who sold you the painting, the guy who hung it on the wall, the guy who wrapped it up, the guy who shipped it? Or would you ask the artist? You'd want to ask the artist. He's the creator. He's the one who had the inspiration for creating this piece. Well, God is your creator. Ask him. You know, Matthew 7, 7 says, ask and you shall receive. So, I want you to locate your gifts, your talents, because it's all connected to your passion. What you're able to do, God wants you to do. So, remember, your gifts will bring you before great men, and it will also prosper you. Thank you so much for watching the podcast all the way from Paris, France. A bientôt. I'll see you next week.